Mm. I'm going to give you a chance to win some money. We've got a, a £5 note and a £20 note, that makes £25. It does. <laughs> it does make £25, and at, by the end of this, that £25 could be yours. Ooh. As simple as tossing a coin. It's a 50-50 chance. Right. Okay. Now, I've got two cards here. One of them has the value 5, yeah. which will represent, funnily enough, the £5 note. Yes. The other one has the value 20, which will represent the 20 pound note. Got you. 20 for 25 for 5. Yeah. Couldn't be simpler. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going to happen is I'm going to place one of these cards face down. Uh, I usually actually start off with the 20 when I play this game. But let's say it was the 5. Mm. Um, if you put a 5 on top of it and that says 5, you win the 5. So it's got to match it. Yeah, just yeah. match it. And we're going to do it three times. Okay. Uh, remember, I said I always start with the 20, so there's a clue. Uh, the other thing I didn't tell you is I lie a lot. So <laughs> it might not be worthwhile. Thanks for that. That's all right. So I'm going to place them under the table. I'm going to give them a little bit of a mix up. Yeah. And we are going to take one and I am going to place it there. So I've got one. You make your. You're going for the 20. Yeah. Uh, so you believe what I said? No, I just. Uh, I don't know. You messed me head up. So I just thought I'd go for a 20. Yeah. You should have went for the five, because that's what it was. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you've still got two chances to win the money. Take the 20 back. All I'm right. going to place these under the table. And we are going to give them a little mix. And we will do that one. Whichever one you think, you place it on top. Yes. The five. Yes. Hmm. No, you see, I've actually got the 20. So that's, <laughs> that's two to me, none to you. Yeah. So you're not doing very well with this, but you've got another chance uh, to win. We're okay. going to place them under the table. I will uh, give them a mm. little mix up again, and we will go with this one. You put that down with such confidence. Yeah. Yeah, misguided confidence, I think, because that's actually a <laughs> So I'll tell you what, that's it. That's the end of the game. So realistically, I should take the money back. Right. But seeing as you've done so badly, <laughs> I'm going to give you another chance, but I'm going to put the odds in your favour. You've lost three. Yeah. We're going to do it once more. Yeah. If you lose, yeah. you get to win the money. All right, so if you lose, you get to win the money. Okay. But if you think about this logically, you're a winner both ways, because if you win, you win. You don't get the money, but you've won the game. Yeah, but now, now I want to lose, so I get the money. And then you can say to everyone at home, see, I'm a loser and I'm proud, <laughs> yeah? Because you've won it all. So I'm going to put all this on as well. Right. Okay, a little added bonus. Okay. Right. So if I lose, I get all of this? Yeah, if you lose. Christy. So, Lou, I've really got to think about this. Yeah, so have I, actually. What did I do first? Okay. So remember, if these match, yeah. you win the game, but, but you lose the money. Yeah. Sure? So it's the one time that I don't want them to match. <laughs> That's a bit of a mind game, isn't it? Okay. Be a loser. 20. So I want a five. You do want the five. Um, it bugs me to say it, but you are a, you're a winner. <laughs> and I really didn't want you to be, but you won the game. Uh. So, well, well done to you. <laughs> that is you could go and tell everyone now, you're a winner and you beat Peter Nardi. Brilliant. <laughs> I love that.